So my name is Paul Ludwig. Um, I live in California. I live in Livermore, California, which is outside of San Francisco. So I started looking at 911s, and, and the 996 is what kind of fit my budget. So I went for a test drive, and it drove better than all the others, meaning right, the engine seemed, seemed a little bit stronger. The clutch was certainly much better. It had a little bit better road feel than the others, uh, but there wasn't anything really wrong with it. So in, in researching issues with the cars, anytime you want to buy an old car, any old car, you look up what might, be, might go wrong with it, you know, all of the issues pop up. They're all very evident when you go searching. Two years after ownership, I bought it in 2018. Um, two years after, I started getting that funny little tick. And I'm like, well, all right. So I started talking to people. Well, how do I diagnose this? What is it really? What is it really all about? So I did a basic diagnostic, and, and which was just, which were the kind of normal things, right? You, you take the belt off and make sure it's not any of your pulleys, right? You, 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 in a, you run it in a couple different configurations to figure it out. And I was like, you know, I don't have a shop to work in. I've got my garage, and I, I didn't want to get into the, the complicated, this is a little more complicated than most engines. I didn't want to get into that in my garage. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll make a deal with him. He's got the super reliable engine program, right, stage one. I'm just going to go with this, and, and we'll end up with a, a car that's going to last for the rest of my life. So, so the car left in early 2021, and it came back, I don't know, June or July of 2021. And, and it, you know, there's a break-in period, and, you know, there's all this, there's a discussion about how long it takes to break in and how, how it will change over break-in. And, and, of course, I notice all these things. Um, and it's just, it's an amazingly different machine. So the, the, the big difference between the two engines, the stock engine, you know, when, when I first bought it, I thought, oh, it has... It has nice power, it revs really quick, and this one, it's on. And you, you get it instantly. You actually you feel yourself, you know, hit the back of the seat. It's it's quite it's it's very, very quick. And it happens at at almost every RPM. Right? I could start at you know 3,000, 3,500, and it's just the response is very, very quick. So it's it's really nice to see. Flat six is has been it's Anytime I, anytime I need to talk to them about anything, there's, there's an instant response. And it's always direct, it's always to the point, right? And, and I've never been in a position where I've really needed anything to any transaction. It's usually just a discussion. But the discussions are always very, very straightforward. And they're very, they're, they're very forthright, they're very good. Um, the support from the owners group is actually fun. Right? It's, it's, it's more than just discussion of issues, technical issues, what do I run into? You know, there's some, there's some other fun things on, on the thread. Hey, you know, I'm taking this trip. Hey, I ran into this. Here's some cool pictures. It's, so it's, it's, a, it's a more of a social discussion than, than the technical stuff. So you'll see technical stuff in the, right, in the, the, in the forum. And it's, and it's just, it's a nice, it's a really nice group. There's a, there's a wide range of people in, in you know, in, if you live in Silicon Valley, all your friends are techies, right? It's like this group gets me out of that role and into into a lot of other other people. And people think differently, right, when they come from different backgrounds. And it's fun. It's really it's really really nice. So why why would I drive 2,600 miles to come to this? And that's it's it's a bit of a personal thing. So I, I had a weird I had. My doctor likes to do forward-looking tests, and he got this weird test result. And the test result could indicate something about my longevity on the planet. There's no, there's no issues right now that I'm aware of, but this funny piece of data says I need to move up my bucket list stuff. And one of those bucket list items was a drive across the country. So then when Jake offers a class, I'm like, there we go, we are in, right? And so, so it took me five days. And I've spent you know, seven, eight hours a day driving on the road, and it's and it's just it's big cities and it's just freeway. So I I, I did wander off onto Route 66 because you got to do that if you're around Route 66. And so I have some nice pictures and stuff. So it's just really really fun, and it's it's something I'm now planning on doing in the next few years is take some different routes around the country and visit some parks and stuff. So yeah, so it's it's that's a personal reason to do it, but it's I recommend it. Everybody should do it. It's so different. Every region of the U.S. has a completely different look and a completely different feel. It's just just the view, right? And it's just it, it's really really good to see talking to people. Just even in truck stops, you can get a feel for the difference in the culture across the U.S. It's it's we live in an amazing place.